Hey everybody, Steve Bergen here, and we're going to take a look at the web browser called Google Chrome, which is different than the web browser called Safari. We're looking on the iPad, and we're going to take a look at the features of bookmarks on this particular web browser. Okay, so I'm going to minimize this, and we're about to go to our iPad, and we're going to load up Chrome. But before I do that, I want to load up in the web browser the computer version I have of Google Chrome because the bookmarks if you log in in both are synced so I want you to count with me I keep my bookmarks in alphabetical order it goes A A A B C C C C E but notice we have exactly three A for Amazon A for an apps page and A for something else. And those three things are in the A section on my laptop. Okay, now we're gonna go away from this. We're gonna go to the iPad and we're gonna launch Chrome on the iPad. In the upper right are your bookmarks where you see three horizontal lines. So the three horizontal lines directly to the right of the microphone or your bookmarks and if I go to my bookmarks you'll see that they're in a rectangle exactly the same as what you saw on my laptop and you can see the three in the A section right up top right before it begins with B so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in a new tab to a website, which is actually a cool one, but that's not the purpose of this um, video. It's called archive.org, and it lets you look at what a website looked like at your school or a business five or 10 years ago. It's called the Wayback Machine. But I'm not interested in showing that to you now. I'm interested in bookmarking it. So the little icon to the left of the microphone that looks like a star a five-pointed star means I want to bookmark this site. When you tap that, you're adding a bookmark. You can have folders for your bookmarks, but I don't like doing that, so I'm just going to keep it in my desktop bookmarks. I'm not going to choose a different folder. I'm not going to keep them in folders. I just want to have one bucket on my iPad or my laptop for my desktop bookmarks. So I'm going to leave it in desktop bookmarks right there. I'm going to ignore everything else. I don't want those folders. And I'm going to choose save. Now I've got archive.org in my folder of bookmarks. If I go to bookmarks and I go to there, I can see I can go to A for Amazon. I can go back to bookmarks with the three lines, bookmarks. I can go AP to go to my spreadsheet of apps but I want my archive one to be up towards the top so I'm going to go to bookmarks and these are the bookmarks and I tend to use very short names and if I scroll down it says internet archive of digital free books that's the one that I have and I want to edit that bookmark and I want to call it something very short because I don't want it to take up too much real estate so I'm gonna say capital A capital R capital C capital H arch okay so I'm gonna go return and save and all I've done is I've taken the bookmark which is in the bottom of my whole list and now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pick it up um, whoops, sorry, I have to go back to bookmarks. That's the three horizontal lines. Go back to bookmarks, go to the bottom, and I neglected to choose edit. So I need to be in edit mode, and there you can see the X's that would allow you to delete, but I don't want to delete. I want to say to this one, come with me. I'm taking you up to the top, and I'm putting you in alphabetical order right over there. So I'm using a short word for my bookmark names. 
something I'm going to remember. I'm putting it on the top and then I'm choosing done. And now if I go back to my previous tab, or if I go to a new tab, and I go to my bookmarks, I'll see that I have my bookmarks in this layout. It does not allow you to do it in the nice horizontal layout that I prefer on my laptop. Nonetheless, I can go to A for Amazon, and then I can go to the three lines in the upper right, and to bookmarks, and I can go to my new friend Arch, for which is archive.org. So every time you go to a website, here's a short one, bu.edu. If you see the yellow star, it means it's in your bookmark. So I will go to bu.com. And it just happens to be a different name, but that's not in my bookmarks because of the yellow. All right, so if I want this to be there, I would press the star. Okay, so star means put it in the bookmark. Now I'm going to close up this window and take you back to my laptop. And you'll see that now that I'm on my laptop, do you see that Arch is there? That's because I have a login and password that is just automatic. You have it yourself if you go to the upper right. And you can have your own bookmark synced between your laptop and your desktop. Count it. One, two, three, four. I'm on my laptop now. I'm not on my iPad. I can tell that because I've got this nice horizontal arrangement, which I actually would like to have on the iPad. All right, this is Steve Bergen signing off, and I hope this is helping you with one aspect of Google Chrome. Please practice it. Bye, everybody.